So for um, number 15, they want us to um, find a formula for the general term um, an of the sequence, assuming that it follows the pattern. So um, I've written these out. We have that a1 is minus 3, a2 is 2, a3 is minus 4 over 3, and so on. Um, and immediately we can spot several things here in the pattern. The first one is that it alternates between negative, positive, negative, positive, and negative. And so we can see that we're going to have a minus 1 to the power of n. Because when I plug in um, odd values, we can see that it's negative for odd values, right? Which is true, minus 1 to the power of 1 is just minus 1. Uh, minus 1 to the power of 3 is also minus 1. And we can see that for even numbers, it's going to give us positive, which is also true. If I have minus 1 to the power of 2, that's positive 1. Minus 1 to the power of 4, that's positive 1. So the negative is accounted for. And now let's look for the rest. Well, it appears that we have powers of 2, because it goes 2, 4, 8, 16, and also powers of 3, right? It goes 3, um, on the bottom it goes 3, 9, 27, but it looks a little weird. So let's see, we have powers of 2 on the top, and it appears that we have powers of 3 on the bottom, but things are a little off, so let's see how we can, um, we can index it correctly. Let's first look at the power of, of 2. Um, if a if, a, if I have a2, it's 2 to the power of 1, right? If I have a3, it's 2 to the power of 2. a4, it's 2 to the power of 3 on top. a5, it's 2 to the power of 4. So this follows the pattern 2n minus 1. It's 1 less. And that checks out, right? Because if I go a1, it's going to be 1 minus 1. So 2 to the power of 0, and we don't have 2 there. So that definitely checks out. What about the bottom? Um, if we have... 2 to 27, that is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And this is a 5, right? If I have 9, that is 2. Sorry, I meant 3. If I have a 9, I'm going to have 3 to the power of 2, and that is um, a 4. If I have 3, I'm going to have, that is 3 to the power of 1, and that is a 3. And so if we compare our index and the power, we can always see... Um, we can only see that the power is 2 less, right? So this is going to be n minus 2. And let's see if it checks out. Well, if I plug in a 1, I'm going to get 1 minus 2. So that's going to be 1 over, 1 over 3 to the negative 1, which is 3. Hey, that checks out. Uh, oops. If I plug in n is equal to 2, it's going to give me... Um, 3 to the power of 2 minus 2, which is 3 to the power of 0, which is 1, so it has no powers of 3, and that checks out, right? If I plug in 3, it's going to give us 3 minus 1, um, so 3 to the power of 1, which checks out. So we can see that this is definitely the formula. It works, right? And we found it by comparing to the indexes and just kind of readjusting the powers. And so we have that our a n is going to be uh, minus 1 over n times 2 n minus 1 over 3 times n minus 2. And that is the general formula. And so to find this, um, we're just seeing that it has powers of 2, powers of 3, and then just trying to um, index them correctly.